Hi, I'm Sonali A. Sajnani and you're watching me on E-Times. And today I've been asked to talk about what I eat in a day. Sonali, tell us what your breakfast looks like. Uh, that's a complicated relationship right there. <laughs> on some days I skip it and on some days I eat have a really big one so it really depends on what my schedule is like so if it's a freeish day or if I'm waking up early uh, then I do end up having a breakfast um, so my first three hours of waking up there's no food in my system it's safed pethe ka juice or uh, ashgar juice that's something I swear by uh, so I'll wake up first I'll have two glasses of warm water and then the safed pethe ka juice and then I'll break it down with fruits and then a breakfast which um, could be poha or eggs or uh, moong dal chilla. Chilla is like my favorite go-to. And when I skip breakfast, then I skip breakfast. Then it's straight away to lunch. If you were to choose between being a coffee person or a tea person, what would your go-to be? Uh, I'm actually one of those rare type who's both. Uh, but I think I lean slightly more towards uh, coffee. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, which would be your breakfast meal, what would that be? Oh, like for the rest of my life, my breakfast meal, calories don't count, like healthy, unhealthy. Like this is wishful thinking. If we lived in an ideal world where croissants didn't make you put on weight, uh, yeah, it would be um, pastries and uh, cupcakes. Are you also somebody who makes it a point to wake up early in the morning to go down to your five-star hotel to have your breakfast when <laughs> on a holiday? I love my breakfast. On uh, I think that's my weak point. Like I can't let go of the muffins and the croissants. And yes, uh, when I'm working, then I, I have to call for the breakfast in my room because there's no time. But yes, when I'm on a holiday, then I like to go down and then, you know, scavenge into the whole thing. Um, but I don't like wasting food, so yeah, I mostly look at it and get only two things and then eat that. Talking about work in films, when you're on a set, what does your lunch look like? Uh, again, it really depends on where I'm shooting. So if I'm shooting in Bombay, I like to take mostly ghar ka khana. Or if I'm shooting like really far away and I feel like ordering, then I'll order like healthy things from healthy cafes, which we have plenty in Bombay. But if I'm shooting outside uh, of the city, then I like to stay local. So whatever their local cuisine, local grains or whatever it is and basics. So I definitely like to include a lot of fiber. So a lot of vegetables, uh, maybe dal or paneer or fish. I'm a, a pescatarian. So that and uh, yeah, just, just that. And basically a lot of vegetables because it, keeps, it gives me a lot of energy through the day. Uh, and I don't like to load up a lot on the rice or the bread because that makes you very sluggish. So that's pretty much, it's very, very simple, my lunch. Are you somebody who binge eats during the evenings or you're too much into your fitness to do that? Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, most of you look at me and think that I don't binge, but I have, I have a disclaimer. So most of the days I'm super healthy and I am very aware of what I eat. I'm very mindful, let's put it like that. But there are definitely days I binge and when I binge, I binge and how. Um, but I would say 90% uh, of the times I'm a good girl, 10% of the times I'm a very naughty girl. And when I binge, then there's the whole deal. There'll be like samosas and... Okay, so one thing is there, which is also a little bit of a tip. When I binge, I try and still binge smartly. Like I'll avoid the cakes, I'll eat the mithai. I'll avoid the burgers, I'll eat the samosa. You know what I mean? Because uh, the burgers and pizzas and the factory made stuff, they have a lot of trans fats. Uh, samosas are still made very fresh, you know, they're made in front of you, fried in oil and it's still a better option than a pizza is, is what my advice would be. So that's how I binge and cheat. Talk to me about a project of yours where you really, really had to work out to look your glam self. Uh, I think I would really have, uh, yeah, it, it was uh, my uh, first film and the second one. So basically the beach scenes of both the Panchanamas and not only me, all the three girls, we really <laughs> sort of were very careful about getting into shape and uh, also it was very new for me. Uh, I wasn't very sure what worked. Like right now, I know exactly what I need to eat. If I have a shoot coming up, I'll cut down on certain things. Or if I don't, then you know, it's, so it's, it's like that. But that time I did, I wasn't really 
so aware. So I remember we'd gone to Goa and Nushrat and I, we both um, love seafood and we had stayed away from, you know, all of that. And the moment our beach shot happened, we were like attack, like how can we like go to Goa and not have the seafood? So I think that's the only film where I was really so anal about all of that. Now let's talk about your dinner regime and what is the time that you have your dinner, what do you eat, take us through it all. So my dinner is, uh, I try and keep it very early because uh, I think that's one of the best things that we should really strive for. So I try and eat latest by 8. Um, my goal uh, this year is to push it further down, like by 6.30 I want my dinner to be done. But you know, Bombay is not a very conducive environment for that. When I when I run off to places like Rishikesh or whenever I go for my yoga retreats, I eat early. But when I live in a real world and in my city, then um, I like to keep it light. I definitely start with a soup because it really uh, fills you up and it gives you all the nutrition of the vegetables. You know, that's the best way you can consume your vegetables. Also, I don't like eating raw vegetables or salads at night. and it's avoidable because it's difficult to digest. So your vegetables should always be cooked at night. So I start with a soup and a side of veggies and then again a side of sweet potato or kidney beans, rajma or chole or fish or just basic. My current favorite right now is millet khichri. Um, it's so easy to make. It has a lot of vegetables. Millet is very easy on the system and it's literally super food. So yeah. Do you carry any dabbas to your sets? So many. <laughs> so I, I have like the food the bus, but in life in general or sets, I always have mini the bus in my car, in my bag. So there's always the dry food fruit the bar, the dates ka the bar. The, my most special the bar is the is the little dibi, uh, which is of um, sort of a mukwas if I may call it, like a thing that I make at home. Uh, which has ajwain, soft, jaggery, uh, elaichi and I kind of make it and it's the best thing uh, you can have after your meals like half your metabolism battles are going to be sorted if you just have this little thing after your food so like this I have many uh, dabba situation in my life Is Sonali somebody who likes to share her dabbas with her friends? Uh, yeah, I do, I do um, uh, only when I have extra <laughs> but since I was a child I have been a bit possessive about my food and I know that if this is something that I want and there's only this much of it then I go like so recently I'll tell you um, uh, that's when I realized how much I love my husband is um, this, this was pretty much immediately after we got married and I woke up one morning really craving for a toast you know one of those days when you wake up and you like Simple, like I just wanted a nice crispy toast with a lot of butter on it. So I went and he was busy reading his paper. One hour we were pretty much doing our own thing. I went, I toasted that, it's putting butter, fully visualizing, la 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 la, I'm going to sit and then have it with my coffee. And he just saw and he's like, oh, you're having a toast. Uh, I want one. And I was like, and that was the last bread in the house. Like literally one piece was left. And I did not have the heart to tell. And he, he's not even a toast person. I don't know why that day he decided to. So in my heart, I was like, yeah. I said, okay, sure. And I gave him my toast. <laughs> so that is, and I told him after he ate it, I told him, I said, you know what? I must really love you. If I really wanted one food item and I sacrificed it, you're a lucky guy. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I'm very possessive about my food, bottom line. <laughs> Last two questions before we let you go. Is Sonali somebody who enjoys cooking? Uh, I enjoy, yes. Do I cook? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I really enjoy the idea of cooking. You know, I, I really like look up to people who can just cook, cook things in like a, like, you know, with andaza and cut, 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 cut. Okay, no. Uh, I enjoy that experience, but I've never really been like a cook cook. So I've started experimenting now, I think, um, you know, sometimes I'll make one odd dish, like after my wedding I had to make the halwa, so I made that halwa which turned out to be very well. So then I made it again for my friends because, you know, I was like, let me show off a little bit. I'm very good at healthy cooking, so I bake a lot of healthy cakes which don't have sugar in them or flour in them, or I'll make nice salads or, um, yeah, things like that. And I think I would cook more if I didn't have to do the chopping part of it. So, I mean, usually someone has to do the chopping and then I can. Also, I'm a cook that I have to like look at the recipe. I can't just go and be like, no, I can't do that. 
so I have to follow the recipe to the T. I have a friend who's a chef, Yajosh, so uh, he uh, he's my go-to because if I mess something up and then I'm like, Yajosh, this happened, now what do I do? And he's like, do this. So I'm that sort of a cook. <laughs> Lastly, cannot not mention and compliment you that you made such a stunning bride at your wedding. Oh, thank you. How did you be so fit? What was your wedding diet like, if you'd like to share that with us? Uh, so, my wedding diet was a very happy diet. And since it was, uh, we just had three weeks of planning. And fortunately, or I mean, deservingly, I would say, I'm, I didn't really have to stress too much about getting into shape because I, I anyway work out a lot. In fact, those three weeks, it kind of took a backseat because I had so much to do. I mean, both Ashish and I, right? So there was not so much time, but still I was managing to at least practice my yoga because that is something I can get up, do on my mat and then, you know, uh, step out and do the work. So that was that. But my food, um, I was eating a lot because I wanted that energy and strength. I didn't want to deprive myself of anything, but I was eating healthy. So I was eating my nuts, I was eating my fruits. Um, I was eating my carbs, I didn't want to stay away from it, rice, basic, all of that and uh, we used to eat a lot, uh, out a lot in those days because all our work was outside whether it's clothes, designers, venues, blah blah blah. So we used to have a lot of, Ashish and I would have lunch dates and that's the only time we would catch up. So a lot of um, healthy-ish, healthy food and a lot of food, that's what got me through the whole uh, preparation. Okay guys, so this was super fun. I uh, I think I had a blast sharing my routine and my tips and I'm happy to hear. Do write in your comments what is your daily routine or if something that you do not agree with. I would love to know that as well. And uh, yeah, happy living and stay healthy.